Hello everybody, welcome back to the Reapers. Today we are in an F4E equipped with four AIM-7 Echo 2 variants and our mission today is to engage and destroy a TU-22 making a low level run. We are at uh, 15,000 feet and the threat is somewhere below us. So the binds I use are the adjuster contact action to enable boresight and then for the four aspects that I would use front aspect, nose aspects, tail aspects, aft aspect, I've also bound these to my throttles. Because of uh, limited utility, I have not elected to bind the wide aspect. I'll go ahead and select the master switch arm. Bring up my sparrows. And have Jester... Uh, unable. Look, for the target, uh, Jester is not able to see the target. However... I don't know if you can see it, but I actually have visual acquisition with the target. This presents us with a problem. How do I engage it? One would be to try to fly below the target and see if I could get Jester to lock. The other would be if I had sidewinders, try to do head-on shot. Or C, use my guns, which would be a very difficult. Today we're going to use a different option called the boresight mode. So I'll come off of pause, have just okay. select boresight, go to forward aspect, and now I can see that the target is, if I look at my scope, about 15 miles. So I'm going to wait until he gets it in 10 miles or so, and then shoot. There's 15. I'll keep the target in my pip pipper. There's 10. Fox 1. And just for good measure. We've got a bandit. TU 22. 12 o'clock. 7 Fox miles. 2. So Jester sees him now, but it'd be hard to lock him up. Have a the double hit. Is going down. And the bandit is going down. Now the question is, is how did I do that without locking him up? So what is boresight? If we refer to the manual, boresight is a mode in which the antenna is fixed to the radar boresight loan line and radar returns are displayed as a scope in the acquisition mode to which I will demonstrate. Roger. This is in the acquisition mode. Looking for targets. The advantage to us is that sparrows can be fired without tracking the target. If we try to do that, first off, the pilot must put the target in the gun sight pipper, and the WIZO has to select the proper aspect setting. What the aspect setting does for us is it provides a sim simulated Doppler signal without a lock calculated within a fairly narrow speed range plus or minus 150 knots to allow the Sparrow Warhead to search for the target when launched. We have five aspect modes. They are wide, nose for when the target is closing at 450 knots plus or minus 150 knots so in other words 300 to 600 knots forward when we are closing on the target at 240 knots plus or minus 150 knots aft when the target is flying away from us at a speed between 90 knots and 390 knots and tail basically when we are following the target and little or no closure rate. In practical experience, the wide mode does not work very well. This brings us to considerations and limitations. 
first off, you have to be able to acquire the target visually and in conjunction with that, identify them as a bandit. And this can be done in a number of ways either through GCI, your visual identification, the identification of a crew member or another aircraft. Secondly, you have to be able to determine the closure rate within a fairly narrow range, up to 300 knots from low end to high end, and employ the appropriate aspect method. And finally, a consideration is historically the Sparrow has not been a resounding success over the history of the system. It's about a 13% success rate, which may lead you to employ more than one or two Sparrows on any given target. Employing the Boresight mode is fairly straightforward. First, just find the target, enable the Boresight, Make an educated guess on your closure rate so you can select the proper aspect close to firing range. Then place the uh, target inside the air-to-air -air pipper and uh, squeeze off a sparrow. It's important to note that as opposed to using the cage mode, the boresight mode will allow you to engage targets in excess of five miles. To reiterate the steps I demonstrated in the introduction. First we will visually acquire the target which you can see off the nose there I will place it in the pipper. We will activate the boresight mode which you can see the acquisition mode on our radar display. I will go to the forward aspect because we have a fairly high closure rate. Arm my missiles, select my sparrows, wait till the target closes within 15 miles, release one missile, Fox 1, and because I'm not sure of the effectiveness of the system, I will go ahead and release a second one, Fox 1, and continue to track the target so that the sparrow can re pick up the reflected energy. And we have a double hit. I hope this uh, helps you in adding another tool to your toolbox for employing what I think is a really fine module, which really, I think, reflects the real world capabilities and limitations of this historic aircraft. Hoping you all have a, a good day. This is Poosh out.